All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. We're back at it with another FSD beta build, FSD beta 10.69.25, which is a little bit of an odd number coming from 10.69.3.3. Um, we're gonna take it on a quick regression testing drive to see if anything's changed. And I'm gonna start with the most uh, interesting part of our last drive. Let me get over into this next lane here. And that was the going into that park where we sort of had that incident with that park. We're gonna see if that's fixed, if that's addressed, uh, or if it's still an issue where the car starts to turn to that park, try to turn to that car uh, and present a very dangerous situation for us to deal with. All right, 10.69.25 is the build. And it comes on the software version 2022.44.25.5. So we're on the main branch, which is great, bringing new features all the new holiday features to FSD beta testers instead of having them wait weeks and weeks and weeks behind, which is pretty good. Okay, so far, little errant uh, turn signals here, not good. Now we're getting into the right lane, the correct lane with the right turn signals active, which is great. We do have a left turn signal up here, ready to go, reacts accordingly. See if it takes it good. So far, so good. Excellent job. All these are things that it did before in the last build, 69.3.3. Uh, .3. But let's just take a look and see what it does. I'll keep it compliant, but I'll let it do its thing. Uh, always at the ready, always ready to take over, and hopefully we don't have a situation like the last time, but let's just see how quickly Tesla uh, has been able to do with updating this. Has a hard time seeing the lane line as as I do have a hard time seeing the lane line, but it does get over accordingly. I'm gonna go to 30 miles an hour because I believe that's what I was doing last time, just to be at parity. Okay. Whenever it struggles or it has a hard time seeing things, it's gonna it's gonna double down on asking you to hold the wheel or hold the yoke, um, just to make sure that uh, if it needs to stop taking control, you you can take over. Foot hovering over the brake as usual, that's your first line of defense. Don't try to grab the yoke that's moving. Um, as you saw me do it last time, I'm experienced doing it, but uh, also my foot was on the brake, so I can just stop the car from doing anything errant. So here we go. First test, let's see what happens. Makes the turn. Wants to go straight again, all right. So that's still a problem. I reported that one again. Still a problem for FSD beta. It wants to go into this park. It wants to go inside of um, through cars effectively. I mean, it didn't go aggressively this time. It was a little less aggressive uh, because the cars weren't really moving, but that's still an issue. So yeah, no, no good so far regression testing here, but now let's take it on our, our normal path, uh, our normal test path and see how it does from there. And we go. I kind of think that this update wasn't really an FSD beta update, more so than it was a holiday update to get the rest of the software to parity with um, with FSD beta users. So I'm not expecting anything different. And so far, that hasn't been the case. This car is at a good angle. Would love for the car to follow that angle. Cars are coming. Lots of cars are coming. We'll be here for a while. In quick succession, I'll keep, again, my foot is hovering over the brake. The next car is turning. I don't think it's going to go. After the next car that passes, then we'll go. Okay, and it goes. And we're off. A little hesitant about this bus. And for that pothole. Um, so I'm, I'm okay with that. If it takes the pothole a little slow, I'm okay with that. bump up to 30. Uh, loving the new visuals here for the navigation with the bigger fonts, uh, making it easier to see at a glance. So good job on Tessa for that one. Um, and then this particular release, after we 
get through this turn going into the shoulder, which I don't like because it makes you take the turn very slow like it is now. Um, slowly and then aggressively. All right, so very cautious still. Very cautious, very cautious. Definitely have to be on your P's and Q's to uh, be able to handle this one. Definitely pay attention. Don't slack off. Don't fall asleep. Don't be distracted. Uh, this is a build that requires a little bit more attention than normal. And that's the same for the previous build as well. If you're on 69.3.3, um, it's, it's getting better. But again, it's a teenage driver. Don't forget that. An adolescent driver. Just remember that. Keep that in your mind. That's who's driving this car. An adolescent computer. Unprotected left turn. A little bit of a choppy stop. Lots of cars to the right. One car to the left. Puts up its creep limit, which is pretty far out there, I must say. And now no cars are there. And we should be able to go. Go, 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 go. A little hesitant, but it goes. So again, extra cautious, extra vigilant is really what the theme of these latest updates have been. And if you haven't gotten this update, uh, it's because it's, they're releasing it. It seems like they're re releasing it in an, in an odd order where some people who typically get it on the la later waves are getting it before people in the earlier waves. Uh, we're on the early wave, on the, the first wave of owners to get it. And we also got this one as well. So um, shout out to Tesla for hooking us up. Appreciate that. But there's some people on the first wave, first owner's wave outside of employees that uh, still haven't gotten it yet. Some cones here. I don't know if it visualized them because they're yellow. Okay, there it is. It worked. And we're just going through a school zone, an active school zone now. So I'm going to be extra cautious here as well as it sees the person opening their door and kind of gets over a little bit, a little bit too much. Over the yellow line, uh, as you can see here, over the yellow line, not good because I saw the person opening their door. Um, that's a little bit too much. Uh, I think it could stay straight and still make it through. Now the light is green. It gets back over centers itself into the lane very nicely and goes. I don't know why it's going so wide to the left um, and then trying to get over. I'm actually going to flag that just because it's getting too wide. We're blocking the whole lane to turn left. So if anyone wants to turn left, we're blocking that lane. See the person behind us. We have our turn signal. Now the turn signal is going to the left. And basically it's going to whatever direction. And you probably can't see it in this particular view, but the path planner is flailing. And that's why the turn signals keep coming on, which is very confusing to the person behind us. Um, and I don't like that behavior. I'm going to stop this. I'm going to take over. Intervention one. Um, just shouldn't have that turn signal on. I don't know what it's trying to do. It, it needs to go straight either way, so it shouldn't even be looking to turn. Let's see what happens here. Bump to 30. It's going to go wide, then it's going to veer over. Or it could stay straight. Stay straight. Stay straight. No, it's veering. Veering again. Not good. I'm going to leave that because this is a weird intersection. and I don't want to fault it too much for that, but I'm not going to flag that one. It's not something that the developers would pick up on easily, but it should stay straight. Just going to do the first pass today. I'm not going to do anything uh, extraneous because as I suspected, this is not really a bug fix. This is not really an adjustment fix. This is really just bringing FSD beta features to parity with the rest of the main branch build. And as I said before, this is actually on the main branch in that it's 2022-44-25.5. Where the main branch is on 2022 44 25.2 or dot three. Okay, so now we're here and we need to make a right turn. So you should just go straight and make a right turn. Instead, it's gonna go in to the shoulder and then go out and then make a right turn. And that just is not the right behavior. And I have a car behind me. 
I'm going to keep my foot over the brake. And luckily this, look at this. Look at this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So that's not good. I'll flag that one. Um, yeah, so not good or just as bad or just as good. However you want to look at it as the last one. Um, so that's it. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to leave it here because it's getting a little bit uh, busy here in the morning. It's getting a little bit busy here in the morning, so I don't want to uh, cause any incidents for anyone or jam anybody up. Uh, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if you got this particular build. Let me know what you think about it. Um, in terms of a scoring system, I don't really want to score this one because I know it's exactly the same as before. Uh, but for the sake of consistency purposes, I'm going to go with level of comfort as a seven. Felt pretty comfortable. Decision making, I'm going to go with a six. I just made some poor decisions. I had to take over. Um, so I'm going to go to six, maybe even a five. But I'm going to say six just to be generous. Uh, in terms of uh, safety, I'm also going to go with a six. I didn't really feel safe when it made those poor decisions of trying to be in the wrong lane at the wrong time, uh, trying to go in and wide. And then there was a car there as well. So it didn't it wasn't un spatially aware of the environment in that regard. Um, and then in terms of confidence, I'm also going to give it uh, a six because it just was not confident. It, it was slow. It was a little bit herky jerky. It was a little hesitant to do certain maneuvers and it didn't really feel confident. Um, as much as the last bill did. So a little bit of a regression in that regard. And again, could have been this time of day, could have been the lighting, could have been the traffic. But let me know your thoughts in the comments if you got it. Let me know what you think about it. Is it better for you? Is it the same? Is it worse? So on and so forth. And until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.